ICA, when it comes to an art space, uh, has the capability to, this, to recognize artworks. So when it has recognized the piece, it will take a closer look and analyze it, look for forms, shapes, abstract concepts. It tries to extract all these and turn them into a text prompt in which uh, it tells GPT in the best way possible to combine what it has seen with the instructions to analyze it like an art critic would. What's really cool about Mario Klinemann's uh, work is that it tests the narratives around um, art appreciation um, and how we're so sort of enraptured in this um, AI and or like digital uh, metaverse world. Um, and what's cool about um, Ica is that it gives more of like an analog feel to AI because you don't really, um, nowadays we're only sort of a tr um, encountering it through screens, um, 2D screens, or even just like virtual reality, right? So it's cool to bring AI into a very tangible setting. This artwork is a unique amalgamation of multiple visual motives, including eating, still life, and the child. The artist has done an impressive job in creating a visually harmonious composition. The child in this painting appears quite peculiar. She seems to be almost cartoonish in her features, yet evokes a feeling of terror. Of course, one could think that I have a grudge against art critics building uh, a dog that poops critiques, but no, actually, I, I think Art critics play a very important role in this whole art world and uh, like the worst thing that can happen to an artist is to be ignored. A bad critique is always better than none at all. Pues realmente ha sido la primera vez que una inteligencia artificial eh, me ha hecho una crítica de arte, ¿no? Y en esta vez en forma de, de perro, de, de, de objeto, ¿no? Eh, ha sido muy interesante porque cuando ha analizado la obra, eh, cuando ha cagado el texto y, y aparecían eh, pues, eh, elementos y simbologías que ha analizado, realmente el 80% tenía mucho que ver con, con, mi, con el concepto original, ¿no? Entonces, me ha dejado bastante de piedra, ¿no? O sea, muy interesante, la verdad. Me parece que lo que abre Mario es la conversación. El interés por nosotros que tenemos no es tanto de tener una visión ni adoctrinar de esto es lo que viene, esto es lo que va a pasar. Yo creo que es más abrir una conversación y tener una excusa a todos para hablar de seguramente una transformación que vamos a sufrir con las nuevas herramientas que nuestro tiempo está generando y que no podemos ser ajenas a ellas.